All right. Some of you follow me on uh, Snapchat and uh, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can find me Earth Scraper Six Nine all over the internet. Um, last uh, what was it? I think it was Monday. I ended up having the day off, and I did. I put something together that I'd been wanting to put together for quite a while. I'd never told anybody because I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Well, I ended up posting the picture of it on uh, Instagram and and uh, and Twitter and and Facebook and uh, and on my Snapchat. And I had a pretty good amount of people that really liked it and they thought it was pretty awesome and I had a lot of questions so I figured I'd go ahead and do a walk around anybody ever want a big toolbox big snap-on toolbox with the side boxes and all of that well but you don't have the money for it well I've got an inexpensive way what I'm about to show you I have a total of maybe fifty dollars in this entire toolbox setup and what I did was I took a small toolbox and I attached file cabinets to both sides and then I put a top on it with a wooden runner around the outside. Now granted it's not painted. If it was painted it would probably look a whole lot better. I don't know that I'm ever going to paint it. I said I was going to but the more I keep thinking about it the more I want people just to see what it is for what it is. Uh, I got uh, this toolbox years ago at an auction. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, I got this file cabinet from goodwill for like five or ten dollars i got this one for ten or fifteen dollars at goodwill and the top i got out of the dumpster it's actually an old uh an old cabinet door is all that is now no you're not going to beat nothing up on top of this it's not that sturdy if you want to you can put a piece of half inch plywood up on top of there and that would make it a lot more secure uh what i did was right here at the top lip of the toolbox I put tap screws three quarter inch tap screws turn those around three quarter inch tap screws run straight into there at the very top edge that holds that top part of the cabinet and it only goes in to about here so it, there's nothing for it to really hook onto. even if you open the door they're up high enough to where there's nothing in here for them to hook onto. You can see them right inside the door. So there's that. And then if you go down farther, right down here at the bottom, I went from here into this way, into the toolbox. And I did that on both sides so I could hang those. I got my measurement about a half an inch off. So I added a piece of wood so that the tabletop would be secure. The way that I did the tabletop was I took these three inch, which that's actually too long, but I took the three inch self-tapping screw and I went through the top, through the piece of wood, and through the corner of the cabinet. Now, the reason I did corner of the cabinet is because when you open it here and you look inside there, it's hanging off on the edge. So it's not really going to get into anything in the cabinet with it hooked right there. So whatever I keep right down the center is not going to drag on that. But I put two in the front, two in the back. That secures the tabletop. So, I mean, I can actually move this whole thing just with the one hand and it's pretty solid. I have my tools in there. I put, uh, give you ideas of what you can put in here. I put safety equipment and gloves and, and uh, some gasket maker. And then uh, down here, I've got this setup, which I really love these stackables because you can put all kinds of stuff in them. So I've got that in there. Over here on this side, I've got all of my oils and lubricants and stuff that I need there and then up here i've got all of my my uh, power tools and drills and all that kind of stuff up here in the top with the extra batteries and some rags on top of course you put whatever you want on top and then i dressed it up with uh some uh uh license plates that people have either mailed to me or ones that i've gotten myself so just to give you a build idea you know maybe you can grow on this one and put more i still want to put some stickers and stuff on this uh i might put a little cover on here across but i've got a, a power cord in case i want to use a power cord and i can plug that in and i still haven't mounted it because i haven't figured out exactly where i want it but you know this really oh and so you guys know uh the people who did give me 
license plate. I wrote your names on the back so that I can remember who gave me what license plate. So I have a few more of them. Some of you guys that have given me, I've got a few more of them stacked up over there. These were, uh, I wanted to just grab a few of them and put them up, but, uh, yeah, go out and put together. Oh yeah. By the way, this, I got this at, at Harbor Freight. This is a magnetized holder. So you can put, you know, whatever tools you're using at the moment for your project, you can just stick them up there so that you don't lose what sockets you need right now or what wrenches or whatever. Just put them right there. And then of course my paper towels and a few other things that are needed for immediate use every now and again and your drill bits and whatnot. So anyway, uh, go out and build yourself a little toolbox. It's perfect for the garage. Remember, this is a uh, 17 wide area and this makes it a roller so I can roll it around. So I, I, I have enough space on the sides to be able to put it. Some of you guys may not, but this would still work at the front. And if you don't have nothing in your garage and you're working on something outside, bring it, you can roll it out to the edge of the garage and work on something out here. So I, it's just a, such a simple idea. I can't imagine why I didn't think of this sooner and do this a long time ago. You know, even over at the first house when I had the uh, mini shop, that thing right there, all the way at the back of the house, I could have done it there made a little ramp to be able to bring this down and all the way out to the front it would have been so much easier than the way that i did do it before so there's my idea uh go build you some kind of a custom box maybe this will open up some new ideas i mean you can even put risers on this and put a bridge and the cabinets going across just be careful of how top heavy it gets because these are fairly narrow and you know they could tip over so uh, please subscribe. I got a bug on me. Oh, <laughs> it was biting me. Uh, please subscribe. Thumbs up for uh, ingenuity on a uh, small toolbox. And uh, see you guys on the next video. Uh, comment at the bottom whether you like it or not. That really doesn't matter. But if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, if you call me cheap, that's fine. I'm cheap because I'd rather buy more parts and toys for my kid than I would to spend 40, 50, $200,000 on a toolbox that I don't necessarily need a toolbox. I, I was told this by a buddy of mine. Uh, his name's tank sub tank. <laughs> he told me the toolbox doesn't make a mechanic. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, you are who you are, no matter what your tools go in. So there it is. If you've made it this far, then you got to hear that. If not, then we'll just let those guys think what they want. And, uh, I got gnats. We got gnats. All right. Peace out. Thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe. More videos coming soon for my, uh, Mazda.